22 years of age and I'll be auditioning for the role of Mercy. Them housing people are full of shit. See, Seattle's down there waiting for forever. So the finally the lady come, come and get me. So I grabbed TJ and we scurried up behind to her desk. I sit down, I give her my vitals. Mesa Givens, 258 Serengeti Avenue, social security number, blah, blah, blah. And she got on her computer while I was telling her about my no good landlord. And she's smiling at TJ and he's smiling back and they all happy in leprechauns and shit. When, when lady made a face, it turned sour. And I asked her, what? Macy Givens? Yes, I just told you. Macy Givens, 258 Serengeti Avenue? Yes. And she go, hmm. I'm like, hmm, what, lady? Well, it seems like the apartment was under lease with Miss Gloria Stubbs. Was? Miss Gloria Stubbs? That's my grandmama. Well, where is your grandmother? She is dead. And Lady made the face again. And I'm like, what, Lady? Well, it seems like your landlord um put an eviction notice. She said up to the end, like I'm supposed to know something about her, and I stood up and I said, Hell no. I'm 23 years old and I'm doing the A in City Varsity. Tefan Wanak. I got a little bit of 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 you know, I never knew how he got his dad. Because every time when I would ask him, he would say, I would get it. I would not so long, so short and so. My brother, Tab, never liked him then. I mean, Soli was in his 40s and I was only 16 years old. He thought that Soli was nothing but a chicken murderer, but oh, did that chicken murderer spoil me. I was his Cinderella pillar and he was my prince charming. But I went to overseas like I was going to the toilet, visited all these romantic places in the world, and just before I knew it, when I turned 18, I was pregnant with Mahubuni. I think I'm going to go more now, Soli, and took me out of this matchbox house that had no electricity, and took me to a seven bedroom palace that had everything one night. It had a jacuzzi, it had a pool, it had a spawner, every luxurious thing you can think of. That came with its own price. In the Isila Mahala, I was materially wealthy, spiritually nourished, but culturally. Culturally, I was very poor. So Satan put the Sadibam Mutsi Mugari. This is not my first life sentence. How we put the whole little Lahari Tamu Mutsi Mu. It's because we see the world we are coming into. No, Mark, what can we get that way? No one can get it. You didn't cry like all these other babies. No. Are oh, you cried like a little woman in great pain? And that is why she named me to give me tea. <speaking in Spanish> 
लाओ से जल्दी मत करें माय आंट चोबल शी वाज द ग्रेट चाइल्ड ऑफ माय लेडी बट द डिस्टेंस इन हर वेस्ट ऑफ ऑन टू मी इमेजिन अ 19 ईयर ओल्ड ब्राइड कैसे तोला बार के ऑनलाइन आई डोंट वांट अगेन बोल मुन्ना हाउ मोज ओलेटे का इम्पा एन खबर तो उबलेला उता उबलेला इम्पा कम खेल कम खाओ उपलोर मुन्ना के से walk at him and on that day that's the day i knew i was doomed for life hi my name is nadine hendrix i'm 21 years old i'm doing my third year ba at city varsity and today i'll be doing the role of jessie Yes, Mr. Stillman. I understand that I'm not here to debate the philosophical and ide- ideological possibilities of a world without war, but that is not to say that I shouldn't. Imagine there's no heaven, no hell below us, above us only sky. Imagine life in peace. I am speaking. I've been fighting a war I find wrong and immoral. And the next logical conclusion does not require me to hate my people because we are only but one of the foot soldiers. Do you say to your foot soldiers, you are wrong and immoral? Would that be right? The system is molding us through discipline and rigorous training on behalf of a nation. Am I right? You cannot join in yes or no. We don't act on our own accord. We don't act with our own ideas. We simply trust that by washing our hands we are saving a nation. And then it's the nation's responsibility to make sure that the why is just. We got busy doing what we voted for. But if you are wrong in immoral, so you aren't wrong in immoral. I'm sure you're proud of your children who are making it with chicks flying by their heads. I congratulate them. Like there's no war, no people being killed, no nations legs being pulled up from right under them. Now must the steel man. Okay, I call you Eddie. We only believe that these are the necessary precautions and we hold that trust. But it lies in specific places. Yet we still hold that trust. And we vote for change. We vote for the good in mind. We vote to be recognized. How many of your people are going to be cremated after all this is over? And you say this is a sacrifice we need to pay. What about your sacrifices, huh? It's my people, my bloodline, my neighbors, my colleagues, people who are serving your word. But we started playing politics with our lives when we voted for imbeciles like you. I mean. We are the real men when these laws are passed. Only in their beer holds a college joint in. We don't want men who wear skirts under their trousers. If they don't want to act, let us women exchange garments with them. Because one day, our children will be asked, do you know this thing called a woman? And they will deny us then, and we will not be denied. Lifatsi la bondata runa. Halikutle. We need more action. Yele mon onse tal prat for that your sound not can stem because this is by far the boldest political stand in humankind covid luyanda water was sanya we are heading somewhere and we can all see it mother world needs to come back to its rightful owner yes i say mother because she birthed 195 nations and her babies are dying we in ene can collect a mail george can no longer breathe So how far you can't be a mother and a baby will never get to experience a love. And you ask me why I hate watching the news. But I realize that this task was not an easy one. Gone are the days of women working in the kitchen. Gone are the days when white wouldn't touch black because you're too weak to accept our color. Men and women, colored or not, together we are supposed to walk this road of freedom. If we don't change this now, our children will haunt our lives to come. I mean millions have already been taken. People are coming home with more diseases. God, even the treatment is dead. Do you even know how to calculate the number of cases? 
Of course you do. I mean, you're practically forcing yourself down our noses. But you better watch out. Because we are coming. And not with our mouths, but with knowledge. The kind you didn't care to teach us. We were too quiet. What's the science I hear? Fear. Well, you show them right it is, Ellie. Hi, my name is Amkana Moseki. I'm 24 years of age, BA3 student from City University of Mose. When I was 13, my stepfather, Unyata Namukamuri, he would do uncomfortable things to me. He would touch me. How do you love Mama? When I pretend as if nothing happened. And when I was 14, I got pregnant. I had a daughter and I thought we had two men. Mama and I saw that they had to buy it. One of them had to disappear. And one day, Mona, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And she blamed me for it. I had to take you and run away from home. He took my innocence. You know what, what? I can separate both of you. You look just like him when you smile and when you laugh. I can hear his voice. All these years, he's very good. It's a recipe. Someone now who is the Mukro. I just hope one day, just one day, you will forgive me and understand where I'm coming from. Sorry. I'm so sorry to me. Uh, I'm Okushem Zindi from State University doing BA3. I'm 21 years old. <laughs> Is it getting hard to breathe? The warm sensation surrounding your neck? That's me. That's me choking the life out of you. All closing up on you, little by little, gently. You know, it's only a matter of time. You know, you are talking, but it's slow, patient, powerful, and you can't even move. You are in my embrace and you can't speak a word. You know, I've been watching. I've been seeing what you've been up to. Watching everywhere you go. Watching while you think I'm with you. Always, each and every day. There's no escaping me. <laughs> oh, darling. I'm the, I'm the hand, I'm the hand fungus that you cannot remove. I'm the black abyss that you cannot swim away from. I'm the hand that chokes you until you, until you fall asleep. <laughs> you should have known. You should have known, you should have known not to play with me. Woo! I'm not much of a lover since I am. No, no, I admit, I'm, I'm loud. Were you able to sing? Oh, could you bet some, uh, something for me? Oh, you probably have a decent voice. You know, 
I don't, I mean, I can't write and sing very well, but that's not the way that. You see, the plans that you have, or, or maybe I should say you had, they are very good plans. I look them over and they are okay, but limited. You know, there was some validity in, in your strategy, but I, I foresee, I foresee mayhem and destruction. You know what? I'll see you after 62 minutes and we'll talk again. Damn, you're so cute. Hello, my name is Rathali Letolo. I am 22 years old. I am from City Varsity and I'm auditioning for the role of Lucy. Next in line. Next. <laughs> Are you seriously going to buy that? Hey, be my guest. Whatever floats your boat, <laughs> Are you serious about that underwear? You can fit a dinosaur in that. You know, my uncle's a truck driver. He gets extremely lonely on those long drives, but even he wouldn't fuck with it. Uh, <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna get fired. What am I saying? I'm just a penny. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but are you getting brownies? Wait, one, two, three. Three packets of brownies? Don't you want to lose weight or something? I'm sorry. Who? You want to talk to someone, my manager? My manager's too busy next door poking the ladies that work at Subway. Uh huh. You are talking to someone, babes. Me. I am someone. Next! <laughs> Let me shut up. I'm going to use my job. Are you seriously going to buy that? Really? You're one of those clowns, aren't you? You work at the circus. You work at the circus? Come on. I want to make fun of you. Give me a ticket. Give me a pass for one. Come on. I'm worth it. And instead of buying those, you should really buy them because you're not going to get lucky today. You're definitely not getting lucky, darling. Go to aisle 13. Yes, get a mirror instead of those. You are definitely not getting lucky. Uh huh. I'm sorry, but I have to help you, doll. You know? <laughs> Let me give you some advice. Instead of buying condoms and mirrors, go to church and make sure that you catch the late night mess so you don't scare anyone. Next! Oh no, never mind. Uh, it's my lunch break. Wait for the next picture, my daughter. Uh-huh. Hi, my name is Homoto Mofogeng and I am a BA3 student, 22 years of age, from City Varsity. I really am intimidated by where this world is headed. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of living my life now. I'm scared of even having dreams or even getting excited after each achievement. I'm scared of heading into the future because this present, it's no longer a gift. You know, when, when I look back from where we were and how things used to be, I can't, I can't shake the feeling. I can't help it. 
but to feel intimidated to fall. Intimidated to fall madly in love again. In love, what's horse? What's horse that you have? Kuban Hatchin and Nakabu Kamusovak, no more lifting Hajali. Kitaba, Horin Kiki, Tarele, had to know at Yabu Pilon. Kiabaka, no, and Kiki Tanelba Chaban, Kiki Tanelbe, Kiki for Manila Rato Eva. What? What's who's? Hello, my name is Cindy Swadlamini, I'm 22 years of age. I took a lover, I used to, and planned to welcome my husband home, not with a crown or a gullet, but with a shop in aims. When my conquering husband returned home, we had fires throughout the city, feigning celebration. Crimson tapestries were laid between Agamemnon and the entrance of our home. And I whispered for the whole city to hear, come to me now, my love, down from the car of war. But step upon these pastries we have laid to honor your coming home, my great one. That was the last time I saw my boy, Orestes, 17 years a man and I've never seen you. As a babe, I could not wean him from the breast. He was just a little boy when you took him away. Girl, it is ever in your nature to love your father, but mothers, have a deeper affection for their sons. Oris, Oye, Ayestas and I danced in your father's blood, and we revealed his body for the whole city to see. Here lies Agamemnon, my husband, made a corpse by this right hand, a masterpiece of justice. Done is done. Hi, my name is Khozo Matlapanli Kotoko, and I'm 22 years old, I'm a BA3 student, from City Varsity. Hi, I'm Praise God. Yeah, so uh, this is a very awkward experience for me. It's similar to like having sex, you know, <laughs> where I, the interviewee, play the role of the man and you, the interviewer, play the role of the woman, for it's my job to satisfy you, and you just have to sit there. <laughs> so I've been sitting out there for the past 30 minutes, right, trying to come up with a rational way to explain why I came to a job interview just like this, right, and I'm sure that you're expecting someone with a dress code, you know, someone who had uh, represented diligence. Uh, someone who was eager and in team playing, right? So I um, I couldn't come up with anything. So the truth is, here's the truth. I was arrested yesterday. I was arrested because I broke Cyril Ramaphosa's curfew. So there you have it. I officially have a criminal record for not being at home at 9 o'clock. But I couldn't be at home because I don't have a home. I'm homeless. Yeah, that's that. So short story long, basically I was painting at an apartment and you know, I got a lift from someone that I don't know and that person was kind, took me out on the streets and he was blasting the radio so loud that the police took offense and the police approached us. And when the police did, I just, I just panicked. So I, I, I took the volume down a bit because I knew we were gonna get our ass beat. I mean, it's one thing getting your ass beat, but no one wants to get that ass beat to a soundtrack. And so I was just panicking. My driver now was in overdrive. Now he's a big guy, right? And he wants to get out of the window, right? This is a funny scene. So he's just standing there, and, you know, trying to get out the window, and, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm just watching him with the police, and I'm just like, I was like, okay. I know I'm gonna be spending my time in jail tonight, but I was happy when that happened. I was happy when I got, you know, taken to jail because at least I had a new place where I was going to sleep. I really think that jail is overrated. I mean, what could be worse than jail? I mean, think about it. 
being in a cell with rapists, murderers, and the worst people society's ever seen. I have to deal with that for one night. Oh, you must be wondering where my kid is in all of this. Well, uh, I left them where I used to work, where I used to paint. Hopefully the, the couple at that house are taking care of them. Look, man, it's not that I don't like my kid, okay? It's just, you know, I could always have another one. I mean, you know. Plus, you know, being a 25-year-old broke man, I honestly think that it's easier making a baby than raising one, right? I mean, after I'm done here, I have to go and fetch a stupid ass, wherever it is that I placed them, so. Oh, yeah, oh, forgot the interview. Oh, yes, ah, uh, just give me the job, man. I know, like, the dress code doesn't match the whole city and everything, but <laughs> look, all those guys out there are determined. I'm desperate, desperate, okay? They have qualifications. I have qualifications and a kid, and the audacity to show up here dressed like this. Surely that should count for something. Okay, man, uh, don't call me, I'll call you. Oh, wait, that's your line, right? Oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, um, I'll just, uh, thank you. See. Hi, my name is Lindu Mushi Chusi. I'm doing last year's classes. Diploma in professional editing for camera. I'm 28 years. Uh, this one. You see, you see, I think the one who takes a melon bear in a Kuruma now. Yeah, I'm going to Kuruma now, John Amand. When you please, you are going to do to our Kuruans around. Minaman was so young in dance in Abu Pindale, and Kubek against his intestine, Fagate, Masson Scott. Don't even as a second or so could he such an angry fan. Wow. Bob went to Miss Bob. Went to Miss Bob, and to Miss and when you are meant to Miss and when you are meant to Miss and all more. Why can I tell you, Kuman, i Lobogangenza <laughs> Mainly coffee lamb, and so I'm in Shanghuska's farm. Wakala, Wakala, one memeza, Wahaiza, whatever way you are, present your legacy. Why is put in the song in the bedroom? Yay! I'm sorry, Miss Niven, I swear. Not to bear and push, and push and toss, and fuck his baguette and uncash. When I was born in the shrine, the sense of Sam is I don't see Shum Lem Yanaja. A fig of Teche. Now, figure my bamba yum cook. Now, in one wash, wait, give in zonk as a pele. Who's in Tolle Leon Pole? Look by ghost. Come by Wiscat. Come by Wiscat, and I don't wish him to be there. Mobangan is so doing. A soldier in La Seche, now Cupuelis Talents of Bom Fundis, now Shumaela, now Shumaela, Paga Amen, Amen. But Hande Guy, if I believe Uma Ligne, who feasts an injured Makelo Nuaco, Tandu Makelo Nuaco, General Lobus Tandawen, Unge B, now Shumaela, the singing Pilosos away, Teche. What does him sing? One season, sis. Kuruma now is sis. Must send the ganyo. One season now. 
My name is Eunice Mangana. I'm 23 years of age and I'm from Tidivarsity studying and diploma. He jammed his fingers into me and dug his thumb into my pelvic bone, dragging me across the bed. When I finally got the edge of the bed to pull myself away, I felt his cold, bony fingers wrapped around my ankle and dragging me towards him. Confusion and pain vigorously raped by his fingers over and over again. His dirt covered unmanicured fingernails, scraping off layer after layer of skin. My head smashed against the headboard, his hand at the back of my neck, repeatedly asking, do you like that? I remember struggling to breathe through the finger pillows. I tossed and turned, rotating my hips from one side to the other, tried to shake him off, but that didn't work. So I gave him, I thought maybe, just maybe, if I gave him what he wanted, he would stop. I was not a virgin, but in that moment, I lost my innocence. Greetings, my name is Sipelele Tumbo, and I am a Bachelor of Arts degree student from City University. La Fagula Linamas. Libula wanga bo no balega kunzalaba. Nebeza kumbuleka. Na mbubli lo bunye kapazubli lo bunye. Ubu kapu kapu beka zibubli lo kapazubli lo bunye. Nebeza kumbuleka. Pela nebeza la pekaya. Sabu ne mkwale ne obuti isi fazane. Sizu angendu kukuse. Kunge kuse na loko kwa tuwa kuse. Jenge mkomo. Kwa mkomo leyo si tatu angengani. Kwa mkani leyo. E hize leze. Ze upendu le nebeza. Mutola lupiko. Nebeza. Kumbuleka. Ngoba. Nigi. Uningi la pekaya, uningi la pekaya, ngoba na manje joba mile lang meko na jenga manje. Ngine mibuzo, ngine mibuzo enga makulukulu, imibuzo ezi mkulungwane, izi kitize mibuzo, zikitiza kwe abi ngondo, ingondo, owa abi ngondo, une mibuzo nga no kusabe nguo. Ngoba kwele vugu mbuzo, ni mkumbulo yokuti, Kanje, sasha kula, sasha shusha kukula, kawe tumshaba, kote siya ufuna. Lange panje, kupaga mama kecha, ya lange paga meja ala makecha, lange paga meja ala makecha, paga mama kecha wabalimi, abalimi, abalimi mshaba wabo, onge wabo, kote go wabo mwagom tetu. Nangosh, Uma sabu isha ome, sabu unkaza. Ngongoza kwi ngongo. No ngongo shena mbede kelele. Ngonga haika, na mshaba, siya mfuna. So I am Ophrenza Ramuchela and I am 25 years old and I am from City Varsity. I'm sorry, I know I should have been here last week, but I'm here now. So let's get the formalities out of the way. You know, before we actually get into this session, I'd like to talk about something. There's this guy. 
named Andrew. You know, Andrew was, what can I call him? A free spirit? But the thing about Andrew is that he was always so positive and laughing and I always wondered why no one else talked to him and why everyone else treated him like a disease. Well, last week I found out exactly why no one wants to talk to him. The thing about Andrew is that he puts down women. He talks about them like they're nothing. He degrades them. Talking about, oh, guess who I smashed last night? No one freaking cares. We're here to work. All we came here to do is get a salary and get the hell out. You know, I have this thing that I call my morning rituals, which is where I come in the morning and I sneak off into the break room and I make myself a cup of coffee and some biscuits. Just for 30 minutes, I do not want anyone bothering me. I just want to drink my coffee. But guess what? Andrew found me. And after Andrew comes in, of course, he wants to talk about another woman that he smashed last night. And now I'm thinking, I just want 30 minutes so that I'll be able to deal with the next eight hours that I have to be here. Because literally my freaking manager is gonna call me every single two minutes to ask me to do something for him. I mean, I know it's part of my job description, but he's exaggerating it. Well now, last week actually, Andrew came straight to my desk and sat right across from me. And he had the biggest puppy eyes I've ever seen on a grown man. And I was like, what is wrong with you? And he's like, you're starting to become like them. And I'm like, what are you even talking about? He's like, I see how you treat me. It's exactly how everyone else treats me. And that's when I was like, shit, I really messed up, eh? I mean, I was not trying to be rude or anything. I just wanted to get to work, do my job and be gone. But Andrew has to make it so freaking difficult every single time. And now he walks around the office and mopes around as if his grandmother just died or something. So I kind of feel bad. I really do. But at the same time, you know, I have a lot of emotional baggage. And I cannot stand when someone is making me feel guilty. But at the same time, you understand, right? I had to tell him off. I had to cut his sentences short. I had to look away when he looked at me. I don't want to be his friend anymore. I'm just here to work like everybody else. That's enough about Andrew. <laughs> Let's actually get into the session of why we're here today. I mean, you can ask me. I'm doing great. Hi, I'm Sonele Zolanade. I'm 22. I'm from City Varsity and I'm with the three. Hey, Joe. What did you do? It's a sad to see me. Usually, Maybe to reveal that to that. Casa was at this name. Margaret. What they ought to why? It's all sad. You like it. Oh, Cabo. When I got a pity, he said you. Casa will pity you. What was that? When I got a good time, he made you talk away. Connor the cannon link sail and was that day. Lavin don't satis, Hanam satis. What was that? Your words. Hi, my name is Tato Mzwahaye. I am 24 years of age and I'm just three. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. After all, I was his friend, not his wife. Although in my world, I was his girl, so I'd be saying shit like, it's only so many years in a woman's life. Right, so I gave him three. Yeah, he came up to me with some Donnell Jones, I don't know where I want to be type shit. Man, he wasn't supposed to be like this. You know, he gave me a forehead kiss, told me life was a journey, and he was ready to explore the shit. So I was pissed. And just because he didn't accept me in his life doesn't make him right nor wrong. 
And even though I didn't take him in, doesn't make me right nor wrong. Like I said, I was his friend, not his wife. And maybe then I should have acted within my capacity. And maybe then our breakup would have been one of those things instead of a fucking tragedy. After all, I gave him the key to my house so he can come hang clothes in my house. And not to mention, <laughs> to make a full load. And make him, eat, make him eat all the food leftovers just so that the food don't go old. <laughs> Plus, he had the remote, the TV, DVD, and radio. Man, that fucking nigga. Hello, my name is Vidima Lamolita. I'm 22 years of age and I'm currently doing my last year in diploma professional acting for camera in City Varsity. You know what, Dad? I actually cared. And I cared a lot. And I'm tired of it, Dad. When we were young, before our mother died, you promised her that you would take care of us, but you failed. Always coming home drunk, coming with another woman. Every woman, you changed them. You never bought food at home. Me and Tabiso were looking at each other, wondering what are we going to eat while you getting drunk with other ladies. I'm tired of you, Dad. I'm tired of being the parent here. I asked for help. I asked people to help me. What? Don't tell me I don't care, Dad. I do care. I care, actually. No, I'm not going to care. I'm tired of caring for you, Dad. You're not changing. And you're not receiving my help. Hello there, my name is Bradlin Smith. I'm 22 years old. I'm a BAP student at City Varsity, and I will be performing a piece from the convert playing the character Jinkasai. I, I am confessing. There is something I have to tell you now, Master. The time, it's not long. I... They killed him like a chicken, Master. A chicken. They kept, they kept looking at me. I know what it was he was thinking. He was thinking I have it this good English and this Bible learning. Why I couldn't save him like I was saying I could? Why I couldn't do this one thing? And I couldn't. I couldn't do anything. I just was standing there with my Bible like a fool. A door for. They were sleeping, Master. Mrs. Colchin, when she see me, I am thinking she thought I am coming to be a one day. I am a good one, Master. That is what they would always say. You are a good one, Esther. I like being a good one, Master, but I couldn't. I couldn't manage. Master, you have never told me about your father too. Today, I'm going to tell you about my father. My father was a good, good man. And today, I see him. He was angry with me. He told me to shed blood for my own. The white people don't do what their book is saying. I thought he would accept Jesus. Show his I, I, I wanted to not care and spill their blood, like they were not caring and spilling mine. Killed him like a chicken. Like a chicken. <laughs> hey, I might always call me a good one with the chickens. So I take it the knife 
and drop it through Mrs. Coach and she had neck. Sound you. Him, he not even knew. I just leave him to sleep. I just put the knife many, many times in chest. Many, many times in chest. But no. Hi, my name is Zonja Sinov Wiondu, Day BA3. I am 21 years old and I will be auditioning for the character Dora Lee from 9 to 6. What is this? This man is probably testing me. Good evening, ma'am. Is Mr. Adams by any chance at home today? Can I please talk to him? Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, Mr. Adams. Could you kindly please Repeat what you've been saying about me to all the women in the office. You've had me quite correctly, sir. Please repeat whatever you have been saying about me to all the ladies from the office. <laughs> so you have been telling everyone in the office that you're sleeping with me. Now it all makes sense. That's why these people have been treating me like some dime store floozy. They think I'm screwing the boss. And you like it, don't you? It gives you some sort of chip thrill, like knocking down pencils and picking up papers. No, 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 no. You need to listen to me. See, I have been very patient with you from the first day I got to this office. And I had to keep up with all your pitching, your staring, and chasing me around the table because I needed this job. But this has gone too far. See, I have a gun here in my bag. And up until today, I have been forgiving and forgetting because of the way I've been brought up. But I will tell you one. If you ever, and I mean ever, say one word about me or make any indecent proposals, I will take this gun away. And I will change you from a roaster to a hen with one shot. So don't you ever think I can do it? <laughs> Oh, so you think the only reason I haven't reported you is because I'm afraid of you? Well, say that's a mistake. I haven't been reporting you because I know that nobody in that office will believe me. But I will dare you. The next time you see me, try holding me or make any indecent proposals. You will see what I'm capable of. I'll try me. Bust it. My name is Magdalene Panamela. 23 years old, and I'm from Johannesburg, and I'm B8. When I first got depressed at the age of 14 years, I was crying for many reasons. One of the biggest was, I believed I lost myself. I remember thinking I'll never be the same person I was before I got depressed. I remember saying I miss myself. As time passed by, memories of who I had faded away slowly until I couldn't remember who I am at all. I couldn't remember how it felt to want to interact with people to do what I love. I forgot how it felt not to be angry all the time when I was wide away. 
to be honest, I lost my son. Depression took over my life. Sometimes it's fantasizing about death because it's the only way to be at peace. Sometimes it's just lying in a dark room, not even thinking about food, sleeping for many hours, and sometimes you don't sleep at all. Sometimes it's being so numb you feel nothing at all. Depression took everything from me. I don't even recognize myself. I don't know who I am anymore. Death is the only way out. Hello, my name is Dumelo Matebula. I'm 22 years of age from City of City VA3. I'm, I'm auditioning for the role of John Gani, of Sipo from John Gani, nothing but the truth. When my father died in 1987, Temba could not make it to the funeral. It was too dangerous for him to come back, so the UDF took over my own father's funeral. It was Temba's wishes after all. They turned my father's funeral into a political rally. There were 12 speakers, one after the other, talking about Comrade Temba's father, while I, stand, I stood there like just a stranger. That time I'm the one who paid for everything. I paid for the coffin, I paid for all the funeral arrangements, I even paid for the food that they were all eating, but no, I was just Comrade Temba's brother. They whisked this coffin and ran with it all the way to the cemetery. My aunt, my uncles, they could not even keep up with them. It was just chaos. The police were everywhere, the kids were doing, doing pushing the police that they should shoot them. It all felt like the day I lost my own son. I had to run behind my father's coffin. I was not even the first one to throw soil into my father's grave. It was the delegate first, who kept on singing over and over and over again. The police got tired of it, so they decided to just fire tear gases right at the cemetery. The people just ran away, the grandmothers, they were coughing, they were crying, but I stood there. I stood there because I was tired of what they were doing. I just wanted to get done with it. It was enough. After when the police were gone, when when the people were going on, when the comrades were also gone, Reverend Haya was there with me, all together with the undertakers. It seemed like the takers did not affect us at all. Reverend Haya said a little prayer. While I was burying my father, I alone filled the grave with soil. I alone placed a cross on his grave with his name, his date of death, and his date of birth. Robalaka called my daddy Bilwadi Chab. I said a little prayer and I said my final goodbyes to my father. I even apologized for all the things that Temba did. I'm still very angry at him for doing that to our own father, my father. Hi, my name is Minis Nomai Beki and I'm 22 years old. Like you? Who the hell said I got to like you? Now what law is there that said I got to like you when I stand up in my face and ask the goddamn ass foolish question like that talking about liking somebody? Boy, come here when I speak to you. Now I ask you a question. What law is there that said I got to like you? Well, all right then. You understand that I wake up every morning busting my butt, putting up with them crackers every single morning because I like you? By the biggest fool I ever seen, child. It's my job. It's my responsibility. You understand that? A man's got to take care of his family. Now you leave my house, fill up your belly up with my food, clothe yourself up with my clothes. Not because I like you. It's my job. It's my responsibility. I owe it to you. And when your mama and I had a discussion about you, liking your black ass is not part of the bargain. 
You don't have to go walking around worrying if everybody like you, boy. All you need to do is just do right by them. You understand what I'm saying, boy? Hi, my name is Alphony Empowery. I'm 23 years of age, and I'm represented by Kingship's Artist Management. Hey, Dad. How are you? Um, I just wanted to tell you how mad I am at you, Dad. Everything, this whole thing about you, Paul, and the kids. Yes, you should have told me. But, but that's not what this is about. It's about the fact that you have found yourself a new family, which I am not a part of. And I just want to know why, Dad. Why does Gifter get to visit his alcoholic father every single month and, and I only get to see you once a year, Dad? Are you so ashamed of me, Dad? Are you that embarrassed of me? I just want to know why would you just abandon me and mom for that family? You promised me. You promised that each and every single month that you will come and get me, that we will never change, nothing will ever change, but look at our relationship now, Dad. You promised me. You promised, but that's all that it was, just empty promises. It's okay. It's okay. Bye, Dad. Hi, my name is Henry Mamabolo, and I'm currently completing my final year at City Varsity in BA3, the Dramatic Arts Professionality Coordinator. And I'm aged 24 years old. It was not. Your Majesty, the young lady flatters me, but it was not love at first sight for either of us. There is attraction, certainly, at least on my point. But Miss Bridgerton thought of me presumptuous, ignorant, insincere, all fair, really. And I thought her a prim young lady. It was not Your Majesty. The young lady flirts me, but it was not love at first sight. There is attraction, certainly. I can say that in my poem. But Miss Bridgerton thought of me as presumptuous, ignorant, and insincere, all fair, really. And I thought her a prim young lady, barely out of leading strings. Not to mention her, not to mention the sister of my best friend, so romance was out of question for the both of us. But in so removing it, we found something far much greater. We found happiness and friendship. You see, Miss Bridgerton and I have been fooling all of Mayfair for quite some time now. We have fooled them into thinking that we are courting. When really, all along, we've enjoyed each other's company so much that we cannot really stay away from one another. I've never been a man that liked chatting or flirting or indeed talking at all, but with deafening Miss Bridgerton. Conversation has always been easy. Her laughter brings me joy. To meet the most beautiful woman is one thing, but to meet your best friend in the most of beautiful women is entirely of heart. And it is with my apology that I only realized it after the prince came. I realized that I don't want Miss Bridgerton to be my friend, but I wanted her to be my wife. I want her to be my wife. And so I plead with you 
not to make us wait. Hi, my name is Shinta Swaggy. I'm one year of age, and currently having this month. Number housing people is full of shit. See, I'm down there waiting for forever when the lady finally called my number. So I grab TJ and we follow her behind to her desk. I give her my vitals. Mesa given social security, blah, 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 25H, Nannikins Avenue, 3D. And I start to talk about my traveling landlord when she go on her computer. She's smiling at TJ. Wait, wait, can I? Yeah, fine, yeah. Them people is full of shit. See, I'm down there waiting for forever when the lady finally called my number. So I grab TJ and we follow her behind to her desk. I give her my vitals. Macy Gibbons 24 Social Security, blah, 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 25H, Nannikins Avenue, 3D. And I start to tell about my traveling landlord when she go on her computer. And she's smiling at TJ. What a beautiful son you got. And I'm like, thank you. And she flirting with him and they're all happy and lupicins and rainbows and shit, right? Well, she look into her computer. And her face, her face, man, it turned mad sour, yo. So I'm like, what? And she like, Macy Gibbons? And I'm like, yeah, I just told you. And she like, Macy Gibbons 25H, Nankin Avenue 3D? And I'm like, yeah. And she like, hmm. And I'm like, hmm, what, lady? And she like, well, it seems like the lease was under Miss Gloria Serbs. And I'm like, what? And she's like, Gloria Serbs? And I'm like, yeah, that's my grandmother. And she's like, where your grandmother at? And I'm like, she's dead, lady. She dead. Lady, do that face again. You should look into her computer. And she like, Macy Gibbons? Seems like the landlord has issued out an eviction notice. An eviction notice? She said that out to me with a question mark in the end as if I know something about that bitch. So I'm like, no. And she's like, well, according to this, but I ain't even about to let that bitch finish. So I'm like, bullshit, bullshit, I say. And now poor TJ, he's now crying and he's wilding because he now sees his mama's face. And now people are now crowding on us and everything. And it hurts to see that shit. It really hurts to see that shit. But I got to ignore that shit so that I can deal with this shit, you know? Let me have your attention for a moment. So you're talking about what? You're talking about bitching about the sexy shot. Some son of a bitch that doesn't want to buy. Some bro you're trying to screw and so forth. Let's talk about something. All you. Well, I'm going to. Let's talk about something. Put that coffee down. Coffee's for clothes as well. Do you think I fuck with you? I don't fuck with you, buddy. I'm here from downtown. I'm here from Mitch and Mary. And now I'm here on a mission of mercy. 
the name is David. And he called himself a salesman, the son of a bitch. Well, he said, Timothy, don't! Because the good news is you fight. The bad news is you got all you got. Just one week to regain your jobs. Starting from tonight. Starting with tonight. See it. Have I got your attention? Good! Because we had a little son. As we all know, first prize. Cadillac. Anyone wants to see the second prize? Going once, going twice. Second prize is the set of steak knives. Third prize is you fight. Do you get the picture? You lock. You got the beat. Mitch and Mary paid good money. You can't host the leads you're given. You can't throw shit. You are shit. Hit the brick park and build because you're going out. Fucking leads a week. Fucking leads a week. Hello, my name is Kahi Solopata. I am 22 years old and I am from City Varsity. suit. I must put it on. For a few more. I don't know what I want to do. See, I woke up this morning instead of going to the funeral. I took my blue suit and went straight to the backyard of the house. Packed everything in my trunk. Dragged my trunk out of the yard to the park and went onto the main road to travel. I thought I would travel forever, but I still found myself here in this forsaken piece of space. My mother might be right. I should have my head checked. I don't know if I should come here to think or sing a song or dance or build a very small monument. This blue suit makes the word loneliness too blue in this place, in this small place that has lost its Yeah, my township. It's the same. See, if only this burned down forsaken space that used to be our shopping complex was magically transformed back to its days of glory, right in the center of the township, the heart of it to say, see, where it used to be, see, just imagine, it's 1993, just a week before Christmas, the four entrances of the complex have just opened, the floors are shining, windows sparkling, cashiers patiently waiting cash at those cash tools, ready to take your money, see, over there were clothing stores, jewelry stores, furniture stores, shoprite supermarket, you were my, they were all here, by scopers, you were, my mother, being the best salesperson of the year, in the furniture store, it was our market place, our meeting place, our home in town, within our township, see, the home of it, so saying, was alive, Hi, my name is Rupila Chavi, acting diploma, year three. Who must come into this? Now I see Kola Namshanji. Screw my eye, you yawn, get angel. Oh, we were not on Zalitin. Tell you, too. 
Kuluma mina manji. Baba utamanguti yile saifunda kwena. Jeho mzali. Wasilima za baba nombali. Siba nane sazu kuliza. Ubuleluma. Guyo hiyo nkindo wa yenza. Wasibula lelu mzali. Besu kuna tinasibize mbaba. Ane mkone mina. Nye mdala enough. Zosu kumele. Sambe ye nubali usase mngani uya zabangu tana wazu kumele. Koto mina baba. Anye nguazi. Na msanji. Uza na maloya. Uza na ma social worker. Kona like hai. Uzi baso ye nzani baba. Na ma social worker asebe nzani anjani. Kozi tine ngale zas katle sibe zwa dina. Beba nyeko. Nkalile. Nakala na kuru baba. Nkalili ntoa yeza umama. Usasibu isele muva. Ngopsumu, opfanayo. Isbindi, onaso umzali wetu. Na manje njenye ntoni po enkulu. Ntoni kutini usume. Ntoni nambe. Yintu wama wamge. Hi, my name is Tabelo Masane. I am 21 years old. I am from City Varsity and I'm auditioning for Skyla. Oh my god, she is so ugly. I feel so bad. No, seriously, I do. Like, I have a high level of empathy. So I took an online test the other day and it basically came an actor. Imagine looking like that to school every day. Oh my word, even worse, our dance class. Everyone in this class is so attractive. We can't help it. Attractive people like to dance, and that's our fault, and neither is it a discrimination. Well, it can be. Hannah did that class, right? Oh, she must feel so alone. Her face, her poor fingers, her nails. Oh. But you know what I think? Everyone is beautiful in their own way. Remember what my shirt told the other day? Beauty is everyone's destiny. Everyone, not just mine. Right? And you know I'll stay true to my conviction. Probably why everyone loves me. But Hannah, maybe we should focus more on her inner beauty. Or we could give her a makeover and draw some beauty out of it. But I doubt that will work. The level in our class is just too high. Good day, my name is Panchanai Moyo. I am a 21-year-old City Varsity BA3 student, and today I'll be performing The Devil's Sketch by Rowan Atkins. Thank you. Hello, nice to see you all again. Now, the more perceptive of you have probably realized that this is hell, and I am the devil. Good evening. Now, you can call me Toby if you like. We try and keep things very informal as well as infernal. <laughs> That's a little joke. Okay. Now, you're all here for eternity, which is a very long time. I don't think I have to tell you that. So you get to know everyone pretty well by the end of it. But for now, I have to split you into groups. Is there any questions? Yes? No, I'm, uh, I'm afraid there is no toilets. If you had uh, read your Bible, you would have seen that it's eternal damnation without relief. So if you didn't go before you came, then I'm afraid that you're not going to enjoy yourself very much. But I do find that that is the point. Right, let's split you up then. Murderers over here. Looters and pillagers, if you can please stand over there. Thieves, if you may join them. Uh, you two bank managers, please join them over there. Fornicators, if you could please step forward. Good. God, there's a lot of you. All right. Um, if I could split you into adulterers, male adulterers, and the rest, 
Uh, male adulterers, if you could please line up in front of that small gelatin over there. Thank you. Okay. Americans, are you here? Oh, look, I'm sorry, but um, God had a falling out with your founding fathers and he damned the whole race to in perpetuity. Um, he sends particular condolences to the moments. He does know that they've worked very hard, but it is how the waffle crumbles. Sodomites, sodomites over there. Against the wall. Thank you. Atheists, atheists over here, please. Well, you must feel rather very dumb. Okay, and Christians, Christians? Ah, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm afraid the Jews were right. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, Moonies, Maniacs, Marmite Eaters, Male Models, Massachusetts, Mass Murderers, and Messieurs. If you could take a pew at the back, that is with the Methodists. All right, I think that's almost it. One more thing, though. We are implementing a bit of an exchange scheme with the Lord God Almighty, or as I call him, Sumizi, uh, where some of you will be going up and spending a decade in heaven, and we'll be having some angels down here. Now, in heaven, I hardly need to tell you that you'll be expected to behave in an exemplary manner. So I expect you to do the exact opposite. Tear off their wings and use their halos for frisbee practice. That sort of thing. Well, I'm afraid I have to go now. But um, that was Bob over here. We'll show you the ropes as well as the chains and the whips and all painful things. And before I leave, I'd love to leave you with a little bit of a jerk of mine, a favorite, if I do say so. Uh, quite apt to the circumstances, if I may add. Uh, it goes a little something like a knock knock, who's there? Dead. Dead Good day, my name is Sandra. Thank you for having me. I'm 27 years of age and I'm going to be doing a monologue, the character Taba in Gone Too Far. Father, doesn't it concern you that I travel two hours each day just to make sure that you haven't died? I mean, I clean for you. I cook for you. I even buy things for you. And I can't stand you moaning each time you make it to the toilet. And will you please cut it down on the beers? Yo, Papa. You drink those bottles of beers. How fed it? What am I a penguin? I will want no papa. Cut it down. Let it out, man. Yo. Okay. What are you going to have for dinner? Papa, I'm talking to you. You're going to ignore me? Really? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have come down on you like that. It's just that I don't like your your philosophy on life. Ah, Papa, if mom was here, she wouldn't tolerate it. And you say things to me, things that set me off. How fate that you go head to head with me and then just begin ignoring me? Is ignoring me going to fix anything? Ask you, Sifre. At least I bought some food. Let me cook, and then after cooking, we can start shouting after that. Again. Dad. Dad, are you angry? Dad. Hi, my name is Rachel Matundu, 21 years old, playing for the character bro. I have been standing with you. I have been right here with you, Troy. I've got a life.
life too. But I gave 18 years of my life just to stand at the same spot as you. Don't you think I ever wanted other things? Don't you think that I have dreams and hopes? What about my life? What about me? Don't it ever cross your mind that I want to lay up somewhere with another man? And then I just want to forget about my responsibilities and find someone who can make me laugh so I can feel good. You are not the only one with needs and wants. I took away all my feelings, my needs, my wants, my dreams, and I buried them inside of you. I planted a seed, I watched, I prayed over it, and I was waiting for it to bloom. But it didn't take me 18 years to know that the soil was hard and rocky and that it ain't never going to bloom. But I held you. I held on to you tight because you were my husband. And upstairs in that room with the darkness falling on me, I gave everything. Everything I had to try and erase the doubt that you wasn't the finest man in this world. But everywhere you was going, I was going with you because you were my husband. You're always talking about what you give and what you don't have to give, but you take. You take even when nobody is giving. Greetings, my name is Mohadi Lukhasi. I'll be auditioning for the play of Tani. Stop it, Isabel. You always say you want to understand what it means to be black. Well, if you do, then listen to me. I don't call it mad. And I don't call the people who did it mad more. Yes, yes, I expect you to see this an active self-defense. Blind or stupid, but still self-defense. Betrayed us. In our fight for freedom. Fighting men in detention because Mr. M was visited to the police. The authorities will be there. Try to understand. Try to imagine what it is like to be a black person. Taken up inside with rage, frustration, and bitterness, only to discover that your own kind is a traitor, that he has been trading you to those responsible for the misery and suffering of your own people. It's your own family. What do you do? Remember, there is no court, there is no majesty, there is no everything, there is no justice for black people other than what we do for ourselves in this country. I want you to know that when you start judging us, when you start blaming us for what happened at school four days ago, that you carry the share of responsibility for that. It is your loss to have turned black decent people ultimate mobs. Hi, my name is Nutan Ramasamu and I'm from City Blessings. I am 24 years old. The one of that I'm going to do is attention. That's what you want, isn't it? That's what you do. That's why you create drama in this family. You're just never happy, are you? Unless the world is talking about you. You can't live without creating some kind of a drama and think everyone will think about you every time. Listen, I'm sick and tired of this because you're putting a number on us all. Listen, I don't know what you're going through, but this has to come to an end. Why are you so sick in the head? Why can't you just be a normal person and stop acting crazy? There are better things that you can do for people to think of you. 
There are things that you can do once in a while. And I bet you will not only get someone to talk about you in a positive way, but you will also feel good about yourself. Don't you want that in your life? To feel good about yourself and doing good for people. I am 21 years of age from City Varsity. I'll be doing a monologue from Fences by the character Vinolia. Shanti Mazibugo, a third year student at City Varsity, doing my final year in professional acting for camera. I am 23 years old and today I'll be reciting a monologue called A Crying Widow. Go, <laughs> I'm 
Would you more hug? Would you more what's up like that? Would you more look? God, please give me strength. Give me power not just trying to face the situation that I'm currently in. Murimuak <laughs> I thought his death would bring me joy. I thought his death would bring me happiness. But instead, he's winning even if he's on his grave. This man will never ever live my life. Now I have to clean up all his mess. I have to clean up all his dead. That time he left me with nothing. He left me nothing for my kids. God, what did I do? What did I do to get such a man who didn't even care about anyone but himself? He made me a laughing stock in this community. When I thought that his death would bring me joy. Now I'm sitting in debt. In Ganza, Kazisha, Zinuka, Abantu Bengena, Besitiban, Abantuan, and I, eighteen in the world. Eighteen in the world. I married a monster. I slept with a monster day and night. Other days he will even force himself in me, claiming he's my husband. He will come back drunk each and every weekend. And pick me up. <laughs> then claim as my husband. God, what did I do? What did I do, God, to deserve such a man? To listen to me, no question, so look. Listen to me, no more, 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 but what did? I came to tell. Lord, I respected that man. I gave that man my life. I gave that man everything I had. But what did I gain? Nothing. Nothing but tears. Each and every night. He whipped me every time he got a chance. That time, now he's dead. I'm left with his problems. I'm left with his debts. I'm left with his hundred children that are outside my marriage. Because he was a bloody cheeser. Why? Why me? Why me, God? Why me? Why do I have to die like him? 
so that I could be okay. I would be at peace. My kids are suffering because of this man. Lord, Lord, please give me strength. Lord, please give me strength. I can't kind of fight this battle alone. Lord, I can't. Lord, I am powerless. Lord, please give me strength. Now the family wants me out of her house. Out of my house. They're claiming this is their brother's house. I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to gain. I'm trying, but I can't. to but I am going to school. I'm that man didn't even me, didn't want me to even work. He always claimed that my job is to sit here at home and make sure that the household goes as planned. Hi, my name is Mpon Deso. I'm 22 years old of age. I'm from City Varsity, and the monologue I'm about to perform is self-written. Why am I gay? Why am I gay? Why am I gay? I know I used to be a normal man and I know that I used to be a straight man but why, why does it matter? How is that any of your problem? Uh -huh. For one, let me tell you something. When I grew up, I was molested almost every day of my life. Did anybody care? Nobody cared. Did they send help? No, they didn't. There's this one time when this burglar came inside a home. Me being the only male child in the house, I tried to protect my whole family. But where did that get me? He raped me. And guess what? When I went to the police station to report the case, they laughed at me. Yes, it was a joke. They laughed, they laughed and they really laughed so hard that it, I felt like I'm empty, I'm worthless. I'm not even close to being a man. <laughs> you wonder why men don't open up? Why we don't open up to being raped? That's one of the reasons why. When you get there, they ask you this question. How did that happen? How did you get molested? Aren't you a man? Aren't you supposed to be protecting yourself? How can a woman overpower you? <laughs> Those are the typical questions that they ask as if like they're not human beings. They do not even share moral, they don't even share the pain that I went through. Yes, I came here for counseling. And I understand that your aim is to help me. But right now, you're not helping me. You're making me relive that thought. That thought of another woman being on top of me without my consent? <sighs> no. No, no. I'm sorry. I don't think I can carry on with this session. I'm sorry. I really tried. And I thought that... I, I don't know. What was I even thinking? That you'd understand? That how it, how it feels, a woman being on top of you, 
without your consent? I don't think you did. And for the record, that does not make me less of a man. Yes, that is the reason why I chose to be gay. Allow them. Allow these men. Indulge in me. Have fun with me. Than to ever allow a woman to take advantage of me. And for that to go unpunished, to be seen less of a man, I don't think I can. I'm sorry. I think this session should just end right here. Hi, my name is Lida from University. I'm 20 years old. I'm not drunk. Mom? I'm awake. Why awake? I see what you did to me growing up and how you left me to fend for myself. You don't remember, do you? Oh, those times I had no choice but to walk into town and sit through garbage containers and dumpsters behind McDonald's just so I could eat. If I didn't do that, I would have starved to death just like love. Well, he didn't starve. He died because he was too young to take it. Right? This whole life, I am done. I am done thinking that one day it will change. The only will change that will ever happen is if I make the change myself and I am living. No more bumping into random men in our kitchen during the middle of the night. No more these smells from all the booze and drags you've been doing. No more waiting for a smell, a look, something, anything that tells me you see me. You never care about me. You selfish waste of life. You only care about me to serve you while in some way. Whenever I'm not used to you, I disappear in your mind. And now, I've disappeared for the girl again. You can keep your eyes. I want your part of it. My name is Sabofia Raslavi. I am an acting student at City Varsity in Bramfontein. I'm 23 years of age and I reside in Johannesburg.
ice tea. But when the shadow was hungry, she had to eat rabbit, raw and bloody. On Christmas, the girl received wonderful toys, soft and gushy. When the shadow's toys were so sharp and cold, it sliced through her fingers when she tried to play with them. The girl had a handsome prince and fell in love. When the shadow at the time met Abraham, it didn't matter if she loved him, but she was tethered to him. After all, the girl had found her prince. Then the girl had her first child, a beautiful baby girl. In the shadow, she gave birth to a little monster. Ombre was born laughing. The girl had a second child. A boy this time. They had to cut her open and take him out of her belly. The shadow had to do it all by itself. She named him Pluto. He was born to love the fire. So you see, the shadow hated the girl so much for so long. And then the shadow realized she was being tested by God. Hello, my name is Basetana Moncho. I am 21 years of age and I will be auditioning for the character Melinda in the Acronome. You motherfucking right. I've got an anger problem. Well, you see, that's like asking me if I'm entitled of being hungry. He caused this. All of it. It's not me. That son of a bitch owes me. Every damn breath in his body. You don't know what he did to me. You don't. <laughs> well, do I have a choice? No. Not when some damn judge is making me sit here. You know what? This is bullshit, okay? That motherfucker torments me and he gets to walk away free? What are you writing? And what do your notes say? I'm a stereotype. Hell no. Sick and tired of hearing that every single time a black woman gets angry, she is stereotyped. Ooh, she emasculates me. Bitch, are you not listening to me? I never did anything to him. I was everything he needed me to be. I was, I was strong when he needed me to be. I motherfucking played weak when he needed me to. I was pathetic. So don't you dare tell me I don't have the right to be angry. Hi, my name is Kolofela Shamin Machaka, a 22 years old student from City Varsity, Bramfontein.
rejection. I hate, hate rejection. Why do I have to be rejected all the time? What did I do to deserve to be rejected all the time? Why am I never, why am I never good enough? When am I ever gonna be good enough? Does it always have to be me? Me all the time. Why? No, tell me why. Why? 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 You think I'm happy? Hmm? You think I enjoy living like this? Like I'm just happy? I'm not. I'm not even close to being happy. All my life I've been rejected. And it's not even. I'm just tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Hi, my name is Rushike Jukekana and I'll be playing the character of Dicky Lady. King. How lapi. How lapi? Udula um bed. Don't you ever get tired of turning me into your punching bag? Because if you don't get tired, I. I am tired. Not only am I tired physically, but I'm tired. Emotionally, I can't, I can't keep up with this anymore. What? Hmm? Will you only get satisfied if you see me six feet underground? Huh? Is that when you will get tired? I can't stand it anymore. I can't stand it anymore, Hammer. I can't stand hearing my children cry. Every single day. Because of you. Because of you and beating me up to the pulp. So, I've made my decision that I'm taking my children and I'm leaving. And Lord knows, Lord knows that this time I am never, never coming back. Hi, my name is Kavali Vetti. I'm 22 years of age. I'm from Sete Varsity and I'll be auditioning a self routine monologue called Mum Go. <clears throat> hey, Mzala, get to ask me, I will tell you. Give it today. I get I went to Tavisa's grandmother's funeral. Guess who I saw there? Two 
of Tumso's uh, 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 baby mamas, both of them, they were there. And I was like, hey, wo, Hande, these children, when did they lose their, their culture? Why are they both there? Because number one, Tumso, you mean, I said, I but they have guards to show, and that grandmother hated them. Hate. Mzala, ask me again. <laughs> hey, was like ask me again? So when it was time to go view the boat, hey, we are sitting there. We are sitting there. Jiga jiga, we 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 we. Hey, whoa, what's happening? Did they steal the cops or something? What is happening? Guess what was inside? Drugs. I was so shocked. I was so shocked. Then I did my, my mathematics. I was like, no, one plus one here. It must give me two. Five months ago, Mzala, uh, I was And then, Mina, what I know is that he works for PKMP. What? What? Manager for PKMP actually drives a bank. A bank. Chiga, chiga. Hey, hey. Tabi support a mention in Varikai Kosanti. Hey, whoa, how, how, Mzala? Tabis, your Tabis, your favorite. Hey, I'm Kulisile, Utabisa, I'm Yamatemba. Hey, 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 I should wait. Mutemben got wrong. Mutemben got Mzala. Imagine. So I was there thinking to myself, but you, no man, if there are drugs in what was supposed to be the grandmother's a, a, a coffin. Why is her body? My name is Asita Ndirengane from City Varsity. We were on the bus. I've been holding my uh, my son in my arms. The young woman in front of me said, "Please take this seat. I'll be getting off here." We were just changing places, and I heard a smell and different sounds. All of a sudden. It went dark, and before I knew it, I was holding my son in my arms. I looked down at him. Fragments of glasses had pierced his head. The blood was flowing from his head over his face. He looked up at me, and he smiled. He didn't, he didn't know what had happened, so he kept on smiling at me. I had some milk, which he drank through all that day. I think my son sucked the poison out of my body. Soon after that, he died. My son died right in my arms. He was just in the past. Hi, my name is Refilo Gladness Rasoka. I am 22 years of age. I'm from City Varsity. And I'll be playing the character of Helen from Diary of a Black Mad Woman. Now let me explain something to you. Okay. Old Helen is gone. And I will not let you talk to me like that. Now I came all here to help you. But now I am going to get even. Shut up! You want Brenda? Huh? And your kids? Do you see what you left me for? This is what you left me for, Charles. She didn't give a damn about you. She told them to let you die. I was your wife. 
I loved you and I never want to hurt you. Why did you do this to me? To us? Answer me! You know what's even funny? I gave you life. Even though you took it away from me. Your boys. Your kids. I wanted children, Charles. And had you not been with those hoes, would have had them. I'm all stressed out. My work is falling down. My weight's up and down. Two miscarriages, Charles. And it didn't even say I am sorry. Now I am going to leave you here for two days. And think about what I said. Thank you. My name is Lirato Shumbane. I am 23 years old. I'll be playing a character called Helen from Stephen Bakehoff Plays. And I am from City Varsity, Bramfontein. Morning, Han Crisp. Over the village, like a Shinava gown or a Bickley raffle. Hunting is so fucking thrilling. And if you haven't done it, it's like explaining a fuck to the Pope. Do you get what I mean? It's the togetherness, the meeting at the morning pub, the stump of horses and that lovely bloody smell, the preparation, pulling those fucking jawed paws on. Bloody hell, they can be so tight after a binge the previous night. Hello, Claude and Raton Cecile. There's Quentin, Jeremiah, Jennifer, Vanessa, darling. You do look fab. That jacket fits you like a glove. The asses of the men look so small and pretty. Bouncing on their steaming steeds. Snorting from their sculptured snorts. What a sight. And off we go. We shout. The leader of the hordes sounds his horn. They're straining hard against the curbing leash. A pack of hate. Bursting to get free. And dying to get that nasty little beast. Tell you how and onwards we shall go. The bloody fox let loose. He scampers out all keenly in the bush. He has a bloody good time. A jolly taste of pure excitement. Who doesn't like a smashing mix? Hi, I'm Posa Samkwambe from City Varsity. Don't get any closer. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want them to hurt you. I hid the truth from you because I wanted to keep you safe. But there's no place where we can hide. Look into my eyes. Can you see them? Can you see them looking out at you? Can you see the darkness in me? I want them out of me. I want to rip them out of my soul. But they cling to me, holding on so tight I can't breathe. Can you help me? Can you show me how to get rid of them? You, you're getting too close. I don't want them to hurt you. Please, please, please don't hurt her, please. You see what you've done? You've made them angry. And now they want to punish me. They want to punish you too. I, I can't let them. But it's the only way to make this pain inside me go away. Hope. There's, there's still hope for you. I feel so weak. Buried, buried deep inside the swamp. Run, run, run before they find you. At least there's still hope for you. My, my kingdom has come. His rule was done. You can still save yourself. Go, go, go save yourself. Please. You can't take them from me. You, you have to leave. You, you're not strong enough. You can't take them away from me. How can, how, how can I live with this pain inside me? How? Tell me how can I live with this pain inside me? I'm tired. Tired.
tired of continuously having to be a sacrifice in this house. Tired of having to pretend like you don't know what's happening in this house. You act as if you can't see what is happening. Stepfather coming to my room at night. Stepfather harassing me in front of you. But what do you say? What do you say, mother? Nothing. And your reasons are? No, he pays for our fees. No, he buys us food. No, he provides for us. Provides for us? Provides for us, more like providing for you, mom. This man uses me as a transaction. He pays for my fees and then after he uses me. He uses me in front of you and you act like you can't see what is happening. Oh, come on, mom. I thought you loved me. I thought you meant it from the bottom of your heart when you told me you love me. But clearly I was betraying myself. Clearly, I, I, I was... Clearly we have different meanings of what I love you is. As we speak, he left for work. I look like this because of him. He manipulates me, mother. He forces himself inside of me. I thought that containing my virginity was, was the most precious thing, but I even regret having a vagina. Because your boyfriend uses me. I don't even know what you see in him. But it's okay, mom. It's okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I just want you to know that I am pregnant. <laughs> and I'm planning on keeping the child. I'm planning on keeping the child. I'm 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 not going to look like my problems, mom. I'm going to face the world and take care of my baby. Your grandchild. I just came here to say goodbye. Because I don't want you to be shocked or hurt when you don't see me around the house. I've been used to the core. There's no me left inside of my body. I'm just a, a body walking around the space. And there's one thing that you realized, one thing that I have been realizing that you haven't. And you're my mother. But you haven't seen that I am not myself these days. But it's okay, Mom. It's okay. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being a mom. Thank you for being a friend. Most importantly, Thank you for showing me who you really are. Do you? Do you really get me? That man drank himself every night because he walked away from the things that made him happy. Well, I don't blame him. I don't blame him because he had a family to take care of. He had a family to look after. But it damaged him. It damaged him forever, and forever is a hell of time for a person to drink himself to death. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm being hard on you. But what you say to me, it really got to me. You can't walk away from your dreams. This is what you love. At least you have something. Well, I have nothing. I don't even know what my talent is, but my dad did. My dad knew what he wanted in life, but he decided to walk away because of his family. And now, he's dead.
But then you still have a chance. You still have a chance to, to, to not walk away from your talent. You still have a chance to do... Can you please try? Just try. Do you think I'm crazy, doctor? What is crazy? Is crazy losing your children in a fire that you could have prevented? Just by checking that one little match that you missed. I'm not crazy, doctor. But you know what? They found the bodies of my babies behind the Venus. The Venus, doctor. I didn't even know that a rat could fit behind the Venus. But there they were, huddled up together, protecting each other from the flames. Why me? Why will God take away your kids if he knows how much you love them? I mean, I'm old. I've lived enough. Why not me? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You think I'm crazy. But what is crazy? When is crazy? Why do you think you can tell people that they're crazy? I'm the crazy doctor. So it has to be you. I'm not crazy. Everything is easy for you to say. I don't have parents like yours. You know, I can't stand my mother and my father always there's no more than two girls to have together. I always feel like I'm behind the eight ball. Trying to keep up with you and the others. And I'm on my own. Working on my stupid job, going to school in debt. It's all on me. Some days, yo, I feel buried alive. And some days, I literally do not want to wake up in the morning. I'm like a zombie. I'm, I'm, I'm turned on, but I feel like I'm going in every direction I go in, and I can't stop because as soon as I stop, I move. It will all come crashing down on me, and I don't, I don't think I can go on if I stop. I've been trying to keep up, but I'm losing. And I can barely, just barely see you up ahead. But any minute now, I want and I'll be alone, like completely alone. Be a man, be bold, be strong. What does these words mean? A black label. It's a beer that brings true friends. 
through family. Easy. Easy. My nigga, you are now hot. Easy, easy, easy. Class, my nigga. This is the holy water that will cleanse your future, your past. Your brother. Your brother. Easy. Easy, my guy. Easy, my this is Brampan Day. Everyone is happy. Everybody smiles. This beer is black outside, but white on the inside. Everybody enjoys drinking beer, baby. especially when it's cold. It's not sold for the people under the age of 18. Drink responsible. I was only nine years old when I first lost my virginity. Before that, I was eight years old when I first touched it. Before that, I was only seven years old when I was shown. I'm 32 now. And every single time I look in the mirror, I still see the nine-year-old in me who still wonders of what Umalume found so enticing of pleasuring himself in front of an infant. I have been sentenced here in this maximum prison for 25 years without any possibility of parole. I know, I know you feel sorry for me, wondering what I must have done to deserve such a harsh sentence. But, to be honest, for the first time, for the first time in my life, I feel free. And what I did to be here, it's not important. I can promise you this. I can promise you that what happened to me stops with me. Hi, my name is Nelly Dili. I am 21 years old from City Varsity. I'll be doing a monologue, say you in love with her from Network. Do you love her? Don't keep telling me that you're obsessed. You're infatuated. Say you're in love with her. Then get out. Go to a hotel. Go anywhere you want. Go live with her. But don't come back. Because I've spent 25 years building a home and raising a family and all the senseless pain we've caused on each other. I'll be damned if I'll just stand here and let you tell me that you're in love with somebody else. Because...
Weekend with your secretary, is it? Or some broad you picked up after drinking? This is your great winter romance, isn't it? Your last roar of passion before you sink back into emeritus years. Is that what's left for me? Is that my share? She gets the great passion and I get the dotage? Hmm? Hmm? Am I supposed to sit at home knitting and purling until it's leaning back like a penitent drunk? I'm your wife, damn it! If you cannot wake up a great passion for me, the least I expect from you is respect and allegiance. Because I'm hurt. Don't you understand that? I'm badly hurt. Say something for God's sake. Hi, my name is Kelly Taylor Salem. I'm a student at City Varsity in Brampton, studying a bachelor's degree in acting for camera. I reside in Eldorado Park, and I will be playing Raylene from Uncertain. Hi, my name is Nadine Hendricks, and I'm 20 years old. I'm from City Varsity, Bramfontein, and today I will be playing Lyle in Uncertain. For today, McDonald's is actually scat, eh? It will, but, but don't you have less of something strong? That will also be nice. But do you have less for something strong? I do, but it's fine, you can have a burger. No, it's fine, we can get something strong. No, it's fine, you can have a burger. Oh, so you don't want hot wings? Okay, 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 you don't even have to eat twice. Because I'm not most long, man. You know where the plates are? I'm gonna make a joint so long. Why can't you just ask what's wrong really? So how much is this subliminal? Where is it? Subliminal. Your mood is subliminal, dear child. Don't cut my Did that make you feel any better? It did. Thank you. What's the time? What's the time? It's like half uh, past three. Shh. I work at four. Where are you work. working? At Southgate, some liquor store, some new brand. And... No, but I can bring some more fast. Yeah, you'll, <coughs> you'll drink a lot of fast tomorrow. You have a... And you don't? I do, but. <laughs> It will be the last time I ask you to relin, please. Okay, baby. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so look, this is just like Yeah. Go on. 
I was sleeping away. That's what it felt like. Life, life was leaving me behind. But I wasn't afraid. And I remembered there was something that I was meant to do. Some place I was meant to be. I was in a deep blue horizon, somewhere between heaven and earth. Life was unchanging. And every night I dreamt of that same dream. The smell of dirt earth. The scream that nobody heard. I would hear them calling me. The voices of the dead. And I wanted to follow them. Yeah, I wanted to follow them, but they would always lead me to that same door. And I was afraid. I was afraid that I might never come back again. At first, it started as a whisper. A wave, a wave of a whisper. Integrating down. My name is Solomon, like a fish. First name Susie. I was raped and murdered when I was 14 years old. I was here for a moment and then I was gone. Sanborang, nice to see all of you again. Now, as the more perceptive of you realized by now, this is hell. And I am the devil. Good evening. You can call me Toby if you like. We try to keep things a little bit informal as well as infirm. <laughs> that was just a little joke. Now, you're all here for eternity, which I hardly need to tell you, it's sort of a long time. So you get to know everyone pretty well in the end. But for now, I'll have to sort you guys out into groups. Are there any questions? Yes. No. Unfortunately, there are no toilets. If you read your Bible, you would have known that this is a damnation without relief. So if you came here before you went, then I'm afraid you're not going to enjoy your stay. Have you missed someone's birthday or a very important date? Don't worry. Inuga is always with you. Inuga Fragrances. We offer a large range of perfumes, luxury cosmetic products that provide quality, quality outcomes. We have a range from body lotions to perfumes to tissue oils to skin and beauty. So if you feel like you're in a little bit of a pickle, just call us and we will deliver. Inuga Gamnad.